Well, it's uh, Friday the 15th, and I'm headed back to the trail from the shelter, past mountain shelter. It's uh, 8 o'clock, I'm running late, and uh, the reason for that is because I misread my book and thought I was where I was supposed to be, and I wasn't. Um, what it was is I skipped the shelter, so I misfigured my map, which puts me into a different spot than what I wanted. And, uh, so now I've got 23 miles to do today to get me to the shelter just shy of Front Royal. Or I can do 13 today and make up the rest of it tomorrow and then go in the following day. So I gotta recalculate some things and decide just where I wanna be. Because I'm not real sure now. But anyway, that's one of the two. And uh, I will admit that it's a uh, it's nice day out. I'm feeling good, so I think I may have made a wrong turn already. Uh, there was a road, kind of a road, that came in to the shelter, and then also a small path that looked like it went out. I thought I came down the road, but I'm starting to question that. As I'm headed out, it doesn't seem quite right to me. Um, so, um, yeah, now I'm questioning, I think I'm in the wrong spot, not seeing any blue blazes, also seeing some different things, so I gotta recalculate. It's a little afternoon, so I've been traveling about four hours now. This is one of the first views I've had a chance to get. There's been a couple other spots, but the trees are getting to where they're growing up around the overlook so much that you can't see much. So I haven't done anything until now. I took this quick one. Uh, there's another view I get quick one there's a uh, look close at that stretch of road and way back behind I believe that is Skyline Drive that I've been crisscrossing and following since I started this escapade in the Shenandoahs it's uh, nice up here today not as much wind and it's definitely warmer, so it's taking a little more toll on me today. I'm not going quite as fast. Well, I got to the Tom Floyd shelter at about 5 o'clock. I'm no longer in the Shenandoah, so I'm officially out. This is the shelter. Not too, uh, too bad. It's clean and freshly painted from the looks of things. It's got a nice overhang. Got a beautiful front porch, similar to that other one. I, uh, there's one other person here, he's tenting down below. There's supposed to be a half dozen tent sites, and I checked a few of them out. None of them will work for my hammock. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Uh, there's not really a whole lot of places even aside from that that I can use so it's going to be interesting to see what I come up with anyway it's been a long day we'll wrap up later well once again it's later than I'd planned it's uh, after 9 o'clock so this is my wrap up video I already mentioned most of it earlier I uh, ended up setting my hammock up on the porch 
So, uh, yeah, here you might be able to see it there anyway. It uh, is kind of strung up in a strange manner. Anyway, nobody else is here uh, outside of two tenors, and they don't care. So, yeah, at least I got my hammock set up. Otherwise, I'd be sleeping on the hard boards, and I didn't really feel like doing that, you know. So, anyway, um, yeah, I'm at the last shelter before I get to three miles. I'll be in front, in, you know, front Lewis. And um, don't know if I'm going to spend the day, just going to go in and out. I might spend a Nero, might end up uh, spending the night. I just really don't know exactly what I want to do just yet. Um, I did a rough calculation talking to a couple of the other hikers, and apparently um, Harper's Ferry is my next main stop, so I'm going to be... Um, that's about 75, 80 miles. So basically we're talking three, maybe four max days to get there. And they all look fairly easy rolling hills, uh, pretty short ones. I guess this is where we start getting into the roller coaster or whatever they call it. So that'll be interesting. Uh, maybe I can pick up a little better time and get some better mileage in and, uh, who knows? Anyway, um, I got to look at my book a lot closer, and that's one of the things I need to do. So I'll do that tomorrow um, while I'm in town and, and depending and deciding what I'm going to be doing with this, that, and the other. So anyway, with that, um, let's see. Did I mention I saw a little bear cub today? I uh, didn't hang around it, didn't get a picture because mom was supposed to be in the area along with two other cubs, and I didn't feel like uh, running across uh, the whole family. I might be able to talk to one bear to leave me alone and wander off, but I don't know about mom and three cubs. So anyway, um, that's the only other exciting thing that happened. Uh, uh, some of the mountains, about three of them, were much higher, much steeper than yesterday, so it took me a little longer, but I still managed to make good time. I left uh, camp this morning at 8.30, and I was at this one at uh, 5 o'clock, and it was uh, over 22 miles. So I was, uh, I'm still got some of my energy, but I could definitely tell I'm starting to slow down again, so... I'm really starting to think this is a food thing that I've got to take care of somehow, and I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. But uh, I guess I'll eat good tomorrow while I'm in. Uh, excuse me, while I'm in town. So with that, we're going to wrap it up.